This is the Off-Road Solutions 3.4 5EZ engine conversion wire harness. This section over here will be on the left-hand fender well. We got some EVAP connections, starter trigger connector, uh, sometimes there could be some battery connections. This section here will mount to the engine itself. Uh, this section right here is going to come down the left-hand valve cover, this one down the right hand. All connectors on the engine itself will have an abbreviated uh, label for the connection. This section over here is going to go through the firewall and mount in the interior. Uh, you have computer connections, body connections. This small section here will travel to the left hand under dash for the OB2 scanner connector. This small lead here is going to just travel down the right hand fender well to your airflow meter, igniter, and sometimes a noise filter. This section back here will be under the truck. Right here you have O2 sensor connections, transmission, four-wheel drive indicator vehicle speed sensor connections. And this small lead here, if the vehicle is equipped with automatic differential disconnect, will actually travel up to the front differential to make a connection there. This is the ORS 5EZ engine conversion harness laid on the engine. It's good to start with this big junction here uh, that kind of starts at the, the rear of the right-hand valve cover. Uh, you can kind of lay it on the back of the engine here. We've already fastened some things down. Uh, this harness is provided with closed clamps already set in position. So you have one large one here that will fasten through the old clipping bracket from the original engine harness. Uh, you have two here and two here that will fasten to the original six millimeter holes in the valve covers. Uh, kind of moving down here, as we said before, your connectors have some abbreviated labels on them. So obviously we have our three ignition coils here. Uh, along this line, we're also going to find your injector uh, for number five, injector connector there. Um, the other two are close by. You can take the knock sensor sub harness that's coming up from the, uh, the valley basically and connect it here. And for now, that's just going to tuck under here. ORS, we deleted the little small sub harness that used to connect to the uh, ECT sensor, engine coolant temp sensor, and just went directly there with the connector. Um, that will plug in back here. Uh, moving across the engine here, we got obviously our left hand valve cover area. Um, once again, the three simple injector connectors. All these injector connectors are the same connector, they're all this light gray. These two here are going to be installed uh, once the supercharger or intake plenums are installed. Um, we can say the same for these two connections right here. They'll be done in just a little bit. Don't want to forget in the back here we have a temperature uh, gauge sender connection right here. Moving forward we got some sections that come off the front. Over here you're going to have your camshaft position sensor connection will just come right down between the power steering pump reservoir and the timing cover here. And then one other connector here that most harnesses will have will be for the AC compressor. At the moment we don't have the AC installed so that will obviously go to the magnetic clutch on the compressor. Moving over to the left hand side, uh, this lead coming off the valve cover is going to come around the side of the timing cover here. It will come down and clip to the bracket near the dipstick. This is a conversion so the dipstick isn't here. Uh, it used to be the dipstick, but there's a bracket there. Um, this will have a supercharger, so it's a little different. The bracket um, was normally down here. Uh, this wire lead right here is going to come down and connect to your cam, uh, crankshaft position sensor. And this one to your oil pressure sender or switch, whichever your engine has. We have the leads coming off here. We just have them coiled up now. Like I said earlier, this is going to come to the left hand fender well for EVAP starter and some other things at times. Uh, this other big coiled section back here is split up between um, what's going to go across the fender well for the airflow meter and igniter, what's going to go in the interior through the firewall and onto the interior, and then there's also a section here that will now um, go to the underside of the truck, that's one big difference between our harness and a factory harness, um, is that we've made the O2 sensor connections, transmission connections, actually coming off the fender well area here to run down the right hand side of the vehicle away from the typical exhaust on our swaps. 
will be typically two more connectors, connections to make on the engine. First is near the back of the throttle body here, the throttle position sensor. The other is under the throttle body, the idle air control valve. Some of the latest 5VZ engines had a different throttle body that had what they call ETCS, electronic throttle control system. If your engine is equipped with that, our harness will have no connection for IAC, but it will have an additional connector in front of the throttle body, uh, in fact on both sides of the throttle body for uh, throttle control motor, accelerator pedal position sensor, and then a throttle position sensor. So it'll look a little different, but all the plugs will be there and self-explanatory.